Hello and welcome to another video. So in this one we're back at Imola but this time we're in the GT4 Fix series. So we are in the Aston Martin as usual for this one. So let's get straight into it now and see how it goes. So we've got an off track and backed out on that lap so let's see what we can do in our only qualifying lap now. into that corner but still pretty fast oh no we've twitched that was a huge twitch was all I could do was to keep the car on the track but we lost a good six temps there with that one mistake we've lost all confidence this is not going to be a good lap at all here yeah over a second down on our best now Gained a bit back through the chicane though at least. Gained a little bit back there but then lost it on the exit. It's just done at 153.12. Not particularly great that lap that 53.9. So as you can see, that's good enough for eighth place in this one. We are door number one though. I would have hoped for the low 53, which would have put us in the top three for qualifying. So hopefully we can get a clean start and we can do something in this race. But let's see now then. Right, let's see how we can do then now. I think he's gone. Left side, me on the left. This car off already, we had to avoid that mercury for. got through a clean start though possibly could have gained a place on the Murphy in front of him having to break for that one corner but it was better to just keep it clean oh and there's our first off track already I thought we'd managed to hold that on the track then Ooh, we had a huge twitch on the exit there behind was too far back Time to go made on the mistake. right, on the right. We made a mistake on the exit there so we might be in trouble from the car behind Six. 
backed off early. Tidy, please, we took the corner perfect and then just went too wide, getting, getting set up for the second part of the corner. Not a good start of keeping a clean race, getting two off tracks already. pressure on the guy in front to see what happens he has gained back up to those in front a little bit as well though Kept it to the inside. I did give him the line back. 
try and prevent us losing time, but we have lost time to those in front. That looks like where we're getting the best run on him every lap, but don't really see. Unless he gets a terrible exit, you can't really go for the move there. You can just show your nose and try and put the other guy off. Battling, they were slow through there. Back off, trying to stop him from defending. But he is still going to defend it. They said in me touring car video, you can't really go for the move, even though that car did on me there. It's just not really on at all into that corner. So you just back off early, let the car in front know that you, you know, so they can see you've backed off, and hopefully they'll get back online and you can both take the corner. Might have a run on him now, though. We have got the inside. All right. Still there. Keep your line. You're right. We've got the move done. State there. I think where they overtook into turn one there without a big mistake, that's pretty much the only place you're going to get to go for a serious clean move. Oh, another off track there. He's going to try and hang it round the outside here. Keep your line. Left side's clear. The guy on your left. He's still there. Turned in on me there. Still there, left side's clear. I should have just accepted that off track because I got it anyway. For that fast left I was trying to avoid the off track and that's what gave him the run on me but I still got the off track anyway. I managed to give him space which I couldn't quite manage to do in the TCR around that corner but then he just turned in on me on the second part maybe he thought because Jeff did say um, that it was done so that it was clear on the left so maybe he got the message it's clear on the right but I was still still there so it was a bit of an unfortunate one that really Catch back up to these guys in front now. The gap to Santos in front is now 1.8. Another mistake at that hairpin.
hopefully they start to battle a little bit up in front again and slow themselves down because we are catching slowly. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Final lap now. You've just done a 153 and 19. McLaren defended that hard then by the looks of it. Really slowed them both down. get there to capitalise on anything on this final lap. Much better hairpin this time, so we're right on the bumper of them now. You can't see. Switch there, not what we needed. Final chances to run out the last corner, but I can't see us getting a good enough run to make a move. Yeah, it's going to be it. Much better racing from near the front though, a couple of mistakes, but at least we could actually battle, whereas at the back we were just backing off, waiting for mistakes. So a good result that, fourth place. E4. Well done mate, good finish. So this is where the guy went off in front of me on the first lap, I think it was. But, just want to give a shout out to this guy because he takes himself to avoid hitting the car in front so you see here he breaks too late he thinks he's going to hit the car in front so he just moves his car to the right which to be honest i think he could have kept his braking straight and i don't think he hits this car if he keeps his braking straight but he moves to the right just to make sure he doesn't but that makes it impossible for him now as if he keeps it straight he might just be able to break lose a place to me here and maybe a couple of others and keep it on the outside and keep it going but instead he ends up obviously going off onto the grass because of that but he does well to hold it to be fair let's see whether he can get a decent rejoin yeah superb rejoin there as well oh and he actually moves himself out the way right, again which relax, that focus, second one i don't think he has to do i think he's rejoined in a good place there he's rejoined all the way to the edge of the track there as you can see, he's rejoined right on the edge of the track. He's even taken an off-track anyway. Again, he's staying off on the kerb. So, yeah, and this car's obviously easy, avoided him. But he still moves right in case because he doesn't want to hit him. So, big shout out to this driver here. So, this is where we go for the move then. On the car in front, on the Merc, the Hats Merc. You see, we do get a run out the final corner. We move to the left early. He does then not come across us. I was worried that he might come across us before we fully gain the inside here. And he does break a bit early, but not too early. But I think he knows he ain't really going to hold it round the outside there. We obviously break early as well. Let's just go back and look from his point of view. Let's just see where's the break. Yeah, he does break early. We break early with being on the inside in case we needed to give him space. But then at this point, we know the move's done, so we're taking it back at normal speed. Oh, a little okay, bit compromised, so he the does then get the run on us here. But obviously, not enough of a run to really do anything. To go. Two minutes. Let's have a look at this. So you see, this is where I run wide, and instead of committing and taking it, I slowed down to try and not get it. But that give him the run on me. We stick to the inside. 
make sure we give him space. He is fully ahead there. Yeah, so maybe a little, but I think from my point of view, I haven't lunged, but I understand now why he turned in, because he'll think it's clear. Whereas to me, it looked like I was still there, so maybe a little bit on me, that one, but obviously at the time, as far as I was concerned, we were still alongside from what I could see in cockpit view. So let's have a look. Is it because I've braked more to give him space on the outside? Yeah. See, I think from my point of view, even on the offboard, it doesn't look anywhere near as bad. It looks like I'm always going to still be on the inside. But from in cockpit view, I thought he was still like here. I didn't realise he was actually that far ahead. Let's switch to cockpit view. Yes, yeah, so as you see here, I, I can't see him. So I'm just giving space. I, I, look, they're just there. You can just see him. So, literally, as far as I'm concerned, I, you know, we're still literally side by side with each other. And then all of a sudden, there, oh, oh bloody hell, there he is, and there's contact, you know. So, I don't think there's really a lot that I can do about that one. But it's a little bit unfortunate because he's having a good little race there. That, but I think we did have the pace on him, but he then gave us the run up here, and I think he backs out by the looks of it. Yeah, he takes the safe, but does what I did. Yeah, there, lift. He does what I did on the other laps and lifts to allow me back on the racing line, which we take to prevent us losing time. But then he gets a bad run through the chicane, which must be what he then dropped off the back of me quite quickly after that. So I'm guessing that mistake through the chicane is what um, dropped him away from me then. And I think that was it for the incident. So let's go check the results now then. So as you can see now then, that was split to 1.4k strength for field. We gained 0 0.0 safety rating, which we need to gain a bit of safety rating. So that's good. And 64 I rating. So I think the last few races we've lost in all of them. So nice to get a gain again. Help us towards that 2k mark, which I'm hoping that we can maybe get to and stay around. We have fourth place in that. These two ahead were really defending hard. 53 1 fastest lap. 53 52 9 from that guy behind. On the last lap as well. He was gaining on us quick. I thought it was just with these, with us being close together and being slowed down a bit on the last lap. But he must have been putting in some serious lap times as well. I wonder where he started. I don't know, start down in 11th, so he did come through a little bit. I was wondering if he started quite near the back and come through, and then when he got open space, put in a good lap. But all the laps are fairly even between everyone there, really, fastest laps, I think. So, good race, that. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, then. And if you enjoyed that video, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.